became the least bit of a presence in this economy. Thank you. Okay. Ma'am, please, uh, question. Uh, we're currently in an opioid crisis, and the World Health Organization ranks our healthcare system 37th in the world. Do you think it's still possible for our current system to fix this, and how would you, uh, using socialism, fix this? Okay. Richard, I guess uh, sure. take the first whack at that pin. Yeah. Sure. Um, one of the charming features of the capitalist system has been the endless effort on the part of virtually all capitalists to try to get more than the normal surplus out of their workers, the difference between the value added by a worker and what the employer pays the worker, that normal surplus, if you like. They've always tried to do better by controlling the market, or what we used to call monopolization, becoming strong enough to jack the price even higher to make more profits. And one of the ways you do that is to control a market. In this country, one of the most successful examples is the medical industrial complex, four industries that work together, the insurers, the drug companies, the doctors, and the hospitals, and the producers of medical devices are with the, the drugs. They've gotten together and they've produced this situation, A, where we pay more for medical care than any other advanced industrial country, and the quality of our health care is at best mediocre, as the young woman pointed out in, in our ranking number 37. The solution to the problem in our medical care is not another law, another special federal program, another stop. It is a problem in which you have taken something as important as human health a, subjected it to the capitalist profit motive, and B, allowed that monopoly to function, to coordinate its behavior, and to rip this society off from A to Z and laugh all the way to the bank. Okay. Um, first of all, we, this, the Soho Forum in a few months is going to have a debate, uh, Soho Forum debate on the opioid crisis. I invite Richard to come. Free ticket for you, Richard, and a free ticket for the young lady uh, who asked the question uh, to that debate. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, uh, R Richard and I agree about 90% of the way about the medical care system. It, it's a crony capitalist system. It has to be uh, unraveled. Gene, I would say your, your solution, though, is not to make it fully socialized, but rather to put more market forces in. Yeah, through workers' self-directed enterprises, if indeed that's okay. the way they want to construct it. Because I'm all for those WSDEs, which is, by the way, what Richard calls it. Okay, very quickly, Richard, 10 seconds. Yeah, one, one theoretical confusion. When I talk about market, uh, capitalism, I'm talking about arranging production with employers and employees as different people in an endless struggle. I'm not talking about markets. The confusion between a capitalist organization and a market is something we ought to get beyond. Slavery had markets. Remember, we bought and sold slaves. Feudalism had markets. The market isn't what's unique about us. Capitalism is what's unique, and that has to do with the organization of production, which is why that's what we go after, and that's the focus of socialism, not some dead, old, stale debate about whether the government should have more or less influence on the market. That's a different subject. 